Cancer friends, welcome. It's Tuesday, Jim and I Cancer Day. Using the Gilded Terra Royale today for your first half of October heart spread. Also doing now on Tuesdays uh, t uh, singles readings for Jim and I and Cancers. This will pick up uh, who's in your heart, or who's on your mind. And it doesn't matter if you're with them or not, it's really hard going to pick up on that. Uh, the singles readings, if you're totally and completely single and have no one on your mind, and it's predictive read of the person that's coming in who is right for you and has the advantage. Of, oh, I realize, just give me a minute, and I didn't really design it this way. It's always positive because it's only reading who's the right one for you. It's never reading who's the wrong one for you. Um, and so, uh, unlike this reading, it could go either way. <laughs> this is going to read the energy between you and the one that's in your heart. Good, bad, or indifference. It's the tarot. It's a tarot, it's like an x-ray, astrology too in a way, it's like you can't really kind of help people with astrology, you say well you need to do this and that will change the energy for you and make it better, but I mean it's like an x-ray, so you can kind of see exactly where, where the issues are, and then uh, the doctor can go in there and get to it. So here I look at you and your person, first house, seventh house energy. And um, we're going to start with your card now, Four Pentacles. So this is where you're at in the round relationships right now, in this first half of October period, we'll call it. Um, and you're holding steady. I used to have a job as a dispatcher at a concrete company, and the drivers, they would say, hold it tight. So I went by Union Seniority. And they're like, well, do you want to uh, keep your drum uh, warm and hold tight for a late load that might come up to finish? And and they would say, yeah, hold tight. So it comes to mind, I, when I see this card, I'm always thinking of holding tight. And we would make a joke, you know, uh, the ones that would hold tight were uh, the hardest working. They're often the ones that had the largest families <laughs> because, uh, you, you know, they're trying to get some more money. And pinnacles are money. And a love reading, though, is kind of like withholding energy. You could be kind of being careful about your energy, uh, what you do with it. it. It's not the energy, it's not a great energy to come into this reading with because, uh, you know, it's not the kind of energy that's going to really reach out to anyone. I mean, right off the bat, they're gonna, most definitely someone's going to have to come to you. It's got the eight of uh, wands on the bottom. It's overall energy. could be at a distance out of the chute. Now your person's coming in with the three of swords energy. One of the most infamous cards in tarot, no, or the most infamous. So, um, it, what an odd couple. I mean, you're sort of shut down. You're not really open for business right now. I, I get that energy uh, from you, Cancer. And you're, uh, whoever's on your mind, you know, this because this is your energy. This is their energy. It's not yet about you guys, how I read it. So, some other uh, heartbreak is on their mind still. There's not closure with something. Or you're in a relationship that's just ending, or one just ended, or a marriage, or even if it ended uh, years ago, or maybe they're hanging on to it in such a way that then they would bring that energy into the relationship. And it's hard to see you. It's like in this energy here, it's like you kind of, uh, Cancer, have to be dragged into the relationship. Wow. <laughs> a hanging man. What did I say? Even with this person, now the hanged man energy. Uh, I, I'm kind of I'm trying to think of how to say it because I also relate your card four pinnacles to this card because now I want to see how are you reacting to this person how is this energy which is the hanging man different from the four pinnacles and that'll show kind of how hard your reaction if you were to leap from the four of pinnacles and here get to ace of wands I'd say oh they're really exciting you but here it's like you it seems like you're underwhelmed by them can I put it like that you're like, wah, wah, I'm kind of underwhelmed. And it could be literally telling them, you know, I really need a minute. But yet, on the other hand, Cancer got to point out, this is the one you were thinking of. So you were the one thinking of them. But, you know, it's it looks like you're you're kind of like, uh, you know, you know I'll, I'll think about it for a minute and get back to you uh, kind of energy. Now, um, Knight of Cups. This is how they're thinking to you. Um, immediately, they like you. Um, rushing in. 
And maybe emotionally, this is them saying real fast, I love you, you're my soulmate. They're really becoming emotionally aggressive, kind of. Uh, this could be even over text and stuff that they're at a distance. Um, and you know, I think maybe part of the reason you'd be in a Four Pinnacles is just you're just solid right now. You know, it's like you're you're sort of uh, solid and you're on the porch and you're just watching everybody else. They're, they're full of shit for a minute. You know, and it's like you're basically, I'm not going to do anything, really. I'm good. I'm just going to sit here and watch the world. And, you know, what you're kind of doing to them, you're sort of sitting there watching their foolishness. And you're kind of not participating. Um, and that's why I think you see, too, he's heading back towards his three of swords. Um, it's like he comes towards you, and then you're like, eh, and it's, like, eh, it's kind of back, you know. So that's strange energy for the hard spirit guys. Now, this is the advice from spirit. You've got the fool under the hangman. That's just simply go for it. This is your advice for you towards this person in the relationship. This is their advice towards you in the relationship. Five of Swords. An advice from spirit. You know, this is a... It's, here's the thing. Like, this is advice for spirit towards you. And spirit's not going to tell them really to just have a huge argument with you. Uh, so, really, this advice for them... Is they have to deal with this, and it's going to take a huge argument. It may be the reason they're still dragging this into the relationship, and they would be dragging this into any relationship, um, is because they're not, you know, doing what's necessary to formally end the relationship. Maybe they're still married. Uh, maybe things are left in the air. Maybe they just don't want to deal, because this is really vicious, can be vicious fighting and arguing, and they're just sort of like, I don't want to deal with it, you know. Um, and Spirit's kind of telling them with advice here towards you is like your person here, Cancer, has to deal with that stuff, obviously, if they're going to have a relationship with you. And that's very well uh, why likely you're in the hanging man energy to start with. You're like, you know, uh, not my monkey, uh, not my circus, not my monkeys, you know. I'm just going to sit back here and let you deal with that. You know, it's your side of the street. But Spirit's telling you, man, <laughs> drop a dime. <laughs> God, man, it's, uh, that's interesting. It's like I almost get to feel like Spirit's kind of like, it's a little bit like playing with you. Like, come on, man. Like that friend's like, come on, come on, what the hell, do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I think you should do it. Come on, do it. A little bit like that. And this is the advice for the relationship as a whole. And again, Spirit's not going to advise you to be overwhelmed with too much to do. But I think what this is saying, much like the Five of Swords is advising their Three of Swords energy as they're coming in, um, this is advising uh, you more. It's, this is going towards you here, Cancer. Um, just to let down all these burdens. Uh, maybe this Four Pinnacles, you know, maybe you really, you're not that bad off, you know. Uh, maybe you're the Cancer when you get hurt, the Cancer Moon. You go back into the shell and you stay there for a while. And that's damn well, uh, Four Pinnacles. But, you know, you might actually be fine and, you know, have enough and all of that. Uh, and you're just let go of all these things you put on yourself, some kind of uh, restrictions or reprimands or burdens and stuff. And um, whether, I don't know whether this relationship's going to work yet. I'm going to really need the outcome here, Spirit. Um, but obviously there's something to learn here. There always is because you're getting the fool's advice towards them. It's really to open up to, and I think with the Fool to the Five of Swords, it's to hear them out, you know, because I think this person, it could be labor and energy or something, but they have trouble, like, uh, uh, asserting themselves and expressing their true uh, needs, and, you know, they give too much, They're, they don't want to rock the boat, and so, you know, you being the Fool is being extra open and receptive to whatever they say, not reacting. You know, when they say, like, you know, I had a three-hour conversation last night with my ex on the phone. You're like, wow, that was, was that okay? How'd that go? Was it cool? I mean, talk to me. You know, not like, you what? You had a, you know? Uh, and sort of just kind of letting down defenses, opening up. Because um, it might not be that easy for them to open up with uh, anyone, really. Welcome. King of Cups, I like it. I see it, man. It's complicated. But you get there with the King of Cups relationship. Well, I thank God there's cups too besides this knight going back the other way. Uh, they turn it around and you open up with the hanging man. And you end up with this King of Cups relationship. 
which is a very solid, strong, mature uh, relationship that is based upon emotional openness and availability, intelligence, um, awareness. And so I think that they do, uh, maybe because you took my advice, they do really open up to you about, um, you know, their triggers, their triggers. They're going to have triggers and stuff, but they don't like to talk about this. But you know, as the full energy, you know, Cancer, that all of that's not even about you. You know, when someone reacts to us like that, I mean, obviously it ain't about us. They don't even know us yet. They see me here in Virgo rising. I look nothing like the way I am. And, you know, they make this decision. And so you know they're projecting, right? They at least got to get to know you a little bit. So, you know, you're, you're able to stand back and look at it in this very mature way and accepting and open way. Uh, and I think that's what leads uh, them to open up and then you to open up. And you have a, a very strong emotional connection. And, you know, King of Cups could be cancer. So, again, I think this relationship that kind of really goes your way overall. In the end, you end up in a relationship that feels very comfortable to you. It's kind of a, your kind of relationship. That means they're into it, too. I mean, they were coming at you with the Knight of Cups. They wanted to be open and vulnerable and emotional. And now, finally, they do. So, thank you, guys. Like, thumbs up, tell a friend to tell a friend. Please do subscribe. Thank you, guys.